Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This has been the hardest video for me to bring forth because I'm not sure which aspect to focus on. There's so much packed in this, what I wanna tell you and what I wanna share with you, but I'm just gonna focus on burnout. That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. Burnout, what does it mean? How does it affect you? How does it affect you as a spiritual being in this space? It really does affect you. And this has been a big buzzword. So we're going to talk about that right now. Okay, so what is burnout? Burnout is when your mind, your body, your, phys your physical system, your etheric system, even your spiritual system is really kind of screaming out for attention because you have may have been pushing, 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 pushing everything to the limit. And so burnout comes and feels like maybe being numb to your surroundings, not having feelings at all, maybe not feeling passionate about the things that you once were passionate about, feeling extra, extra tired. Like when you wake up in the morning, you're still exhausted and sleep is hard to come by. It could be that you're irritable and that you lack compassion for yourself or anyone else or thing around you. Um, there are many, many ways that burnout looks, but all of those feelings and more are not just don't just exist in burnout, they are prominent in burnout. And so you might be super emotional and feeling like, what is going on? My life is being turned upside down. I talked about this in another video. I didn't label it burnout because I didn't think I was, I didn't even like realize that that's what's going on. We are burning out. And why are we burning out? Few reasons. Because the energies that we have sustained in the former are not able to be sustained with our bodies anymore. Our bodies are meant to be in an organic state, connected to nature, connected to the seasons, connected to the flow of Gaia and to the earth. And that is not, we are like the farthest thing from that, right? Many of us are the farthest thing from that. And while technology is really helpful, being in front of a screen, scrolling, especially if you work remotely, I can speak to this, it is not good for us at all. And it's easy to get sucked in. It's an addiction. It's another addiction. And it keeps us distracted and away from that space of being connected to the organic. So with burnout and everything that's going on with the energies and the electromagnetic stuff and the cosmic events and whatnot, yes, there is that aspect. And yes, we are going deeper. But I think it really helps to look at the human aspect, which is our human bodies cannot sustain this amount of information coming in a whole lot longer without imploding. So many of us are imploding, myself included. And it's taken me a long time, about six months, to realize that I am in burnout myself. And I wanted to share this with everybody, not because I'm tapping out and I'm not gonna be in this space anymore, but because I need to cut back and I need to be honest and in alignment with myself. Otherwise, you know, we can't be there for other people. And what's, what's happening is that all of these old constructs that aren't working for us anymore, we know that they are falling away. And it starts with us. It starts with the grassroots, which are us individually. So taking care of yourself as you recognize that you may be going through burnout, feeling really lost. Um, and as I said, this was something that I couldn't put my finger on. It took another almost health crisis for me to understand what was going on. I shifted my diet profoundly. I will talk about that more in a video, another video, um, but it, it was literally life-changing and in life-changing not only for me physically, but life-changing in that I had to let go of some really strong constructs that I had built for myself over a decade, over a decade. So a decade of stuff came tumbling down as I learned more information about what I need, what my body needs, and why I was experiencing some of these really adverse effects from my diet. So I shifted my diet, and in doing that, I came back down literally to earth and... Um, feel like I've completed a massive cycle of healing, that I've completed a lot of my spiritual journey, um, that I can be a lot more whole and a lot more connected to myself as a human being and the soul and this human experience. And that has been super profound for me in a way that I haven't been able to experience, I'm sorry, express at all. And here I am hopefully expressing it well. Um, so, all these months, I would say about 
seven, eight, nine months of really feeling lost and then finally coming back down to earth and understanding that I needed to shift my perspective. I needed to let go and surrender a lot of things that were not working for me anymore. And that was really hard because we get really, you know, adamant. We get really kind of stuck in our own process. And especially if you're out there teaching it or helping others to move through the same thing, we, we get a little bit dogmatic. And so I'm also seeing just in all of these communities that we all exist in, that it feels a little bit dogmatic sometimes. And I just want to let go of that for me personally. I don't know. Drop it in the comments if you're feeling that way. Um, I just feel like we have learned so much and we've done so much healing and we have adhered to these constructs for so long because we needed that. We needed that structure. We needed something to build rebuild ourselves upon and now we're kind of like we're built we're there we're done um and it's going to be i think good to let go and just be in our own energy in our own spaces in our own micro communities um going forward at least that's how i'm feeling again drop it in the comments if you're feeling that way so with that i'm starting to realize for myself that there were things that I ignored because I was so focused on the spiritual journey and the healing journey that I ignored some aspects of my physical health and my mental health. Um, I did a video, a live last Wednesday on attention and focus and ADHD. And I did that because this is one thing that's coming back into my realm. And I'll do another video, separate video on that too, because I think that's really important. Um, not only because there are many of us out there in this community who are highly creative, highly intuitive, highly psychic. We're healers, we're empathic. We feel things very deeply. And a lot of people who feel and kind of exude and um, hold all those qualities are also people who have a neurodivergent. So their brains work differently. That's what neurodivergent means. It means that your brain is working very differently than the typical person. Um, and so I think that we're seeing a lot of that coming forward too um, in the creative aspects and people just recognizing and owning their own uniqueness. That's something that I am still working on right now. Um, how to not be a perfectionist, how to not people please, and just be in a space where I can be with myself first. And then in that space of wholeness, or at least a little bit more embodiment, I can help people. Right, So we tend to be people pleasers and past. And I believe that that is really burning us out, that we're really fried from just trying to be love and light and trying to do a lot of healing and trying to kind of analyze all of the aspects of ourselves. And it's time for it to just fall away and for us to just be, for us to just be. I'm really feeling this strongly. I talked about in the video a while back too, the language. I'm really kind of stepping away from higher self, anything that implies hierarchy or being better or greater than one thing or the other, I, I'm trying to neutralize that because it's not feeling so great. And I want to, you know, as I'm putting that out into the world, I'm really saying that to myself too. So I'm calling it just an expanded version, um, a different timeline, a different reality, so to speak, right? Um, we are all star seeds. We are all light workers. We are all here in some aspect, if you're on this planet right now, to assist in one way or the other, whether we deem it good or bad. It just is. So I'd like to just start, I'm going to start stepping away from some of that language and just, I don't know, talking about how we are souls incarnated here in the human experience. Like that is enough, right? That's a lot. So stepping away from trying to figure thing, everything out and just being with who we really are, which are these kind of complex beings. We're, we're a complex being. Stepping away from the overwhelm because there's a lot of pressures as things start to fall away and we start to understand who we really are and what we really desire. Stepping away from all the pressure of being a certain way, of having a certain amount of money, of getting to a certain level in your life and just letting everything be as it is because you are enough and you are perfect just the way you are. This is a big lesson for me too, trust me. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring that forth. I hope this is helpful. 
If you are in need of help, please let me know. I'm still doing one-on-one -on -one sessions and I'm doing YouTubes. That's it. I'm not doing anything else going forward just to give myself a little bit of break for the next year. So if you need help, my information is in the